Good Thursday afternoon, everybody. Come on in, come on in, come on in. It is time, y'all, to start Thursday dinner. Real simple. I got yeah. lots of leftovers. So, um, well, Tina, I was going to say she got her iPad, of course, and she found her old earphones, so she is a happy camper today. Because my other one has broke. They broke wild so great. We found those when grandma, I don't throw away that little stuff. I had them packed away in a little box. How about that? So she could hear her cartoons and I don't have to. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. So anywho, hope you're having a God bless um, Thursday afternoon. I certainly am. It's rainy again. I'm excited because I'm trying to get my grass to grow. So I am excited to see rain again. I'm going to do some homemade turkey uh, meat patties. So, but first I'm going to use just some um, good old green beans. These are the Tyler green bean style. I'm going to do those. I've got my brown sugar in there. This is one pound of brown beans, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm going to put some onion in there. So I got some onions. I already chopped that honey. Left over to the three. And then it's just so simple. You can even chop these up. You know, these are last in the refrigerator for a week or two. You can even freeze them. So when you need chopped onions, you don't always have to chop them to the test you have them. So you put about half a cup of uh, onion on the meat. Get the cut of this. I've got a teaspoon of chicken bouillon seasoning. I'm going to throw some black pepper in there. And that's going to season them up really, really nice. And we're gonna have us some good old green beans. We don't have to put any water. These are fresh frozen green beans. So let's get the black pepper. About a half a teaspoon. And a little bit of dark powder going in there. That's another half a teaspoon of dark powder. That's a little squishy. And a little bit of that every thing that the kids can't see the top of the teaspoon. All this is dry seasoning without salt to it, y'all. That's a good thing. The salt in here is just that chicken bean seasoning. And of course, that's uh, every thing that the kids can see the seasoning. It's uh, you know, all that, no extra salt. It's just the seasoning themselves. So we definitely have to cut down on the salt. So, put the lid on there. Turn that heat down, and about 15 minutes, those babies will be ready for eating. Now, I made pork chops last night, and potatoes, and all that. Kareem was not hungry, believe me, he wasn't hungry, so he didn't eat. So, I am going to go ahead and do these uh, meat patties so he can eat one or both because that'll bring us up on Friday on the day that I don't really cook a lot on Friday, okay? Okay, let's get down here. We're going to do this. Uh, this is fresh ground turkey, 93% lean. There goes the phone, y'all. And we're not gonna worry about that phone. I don't recognize that number, so I'm not gonna worry about trying to answer it. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of that everything but the kitchen sink seasoning in there. There's that. You know, turkey meat has a real good flavor to it anyway. This has a natural good flavor. And then we're going to pour in a uh, half a teaspoon of uh, onion powder and a half of uh, garlic powder. And do it half because that other season has garlic powder in it as well. There we go. Woo! Something shooting at me, y'all. Okay, we're going to put our black pepper in. And the next thing I'm going to do is mix it up real good. I'm gonna put a little bit of that smoked paprika in there. Well, yeah, I got some smoked paprika up here. There it is right there. I'm gonna put about a fourth of a teaspoon of smoked paprika in there. Just to give it that little extra oomph. Okay. Now, let me find my bread crumbs. I need a few bread crumbs. Let us have a couple tablespoons of breadcrumbs, not a lot, just a couple tablespoons, okay? 
And this is just to help it stick together a little bit better, okay? Now, I am going to mix well, and then I'll just start forming my, so I'll pick the, the back of this fork. And I got my little pie tin here. You know, these little things work well. I got all kinds of little stuff laying around this kitchen, and when they work well, they work well. I even use them every once in a while if I have one laying around to make my cornbread in. What's going on, Kylie? She's over there having a snack. She like those takers or tackers. How you say it, Kylie, tackers? She can't hear me, she got on my headphones. But she likes those tackers um, chips. You know, those things are hot. Now, y'all can talk junk all you want. Those things are really hot. I'm, 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 I'm just gonna tell you, and that baby sits and she'll eat them. Especially those blue ones, I think they're hotter than all the rest of them. I, I just don't even understand it. But she can eat them. She says she's fine with it. Fine. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Okay. Let's see here. I think I might not have to put, uh, oh, I need to put a little bit of olive oil in here because this is 93% lean, y'all. I'm going to get me a couple tablespoons of olive oil going in there. Just, just make sure that they're not too tight. She's having a little ball. I just love to see her. She has a good laugh. <laughs> I love her laugh. And she knows how to whistle, y'all. She informed me she knows how to whistle. So I told her, I used to remember when I was teaching her dad how to whistle. And uh, I said, uh, I said, check with your dad and see can he whistle real good yet. And she told me yesterday, she said, my dad can whistle. My dad can whistle. I said, oh, okay, I'm glad. I'm excited your dad can whistle. So I hope that you all are having a God bless uh, Thursday afternoon. I still have not watched the news. You know what? I, I backed off that news because it upset me so bad. Week before last, when all those children uh, lives were taken, I just could not. I, I just didn't want to, and I didn't. So I, I just got to talk myself back into watching the news, y'all. I just really didn't want to watch the news. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning in here. Okay, where's y'all? Where's y'all? Where's y'all? Okay, there we are. There we are. We're going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning in there. It has no salt in it, so about a good half a teaspoon. We don't want too much. A good, wow. well, we'll say three quarters of it. About three fourths. Okay. It has a great flavor that I love in there. So I always throw me a little bit of Italian seasoning in those burgers. But these are just so simple. And you know what? I'm making so much milk. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the bowl. Now, it's not as drinkable. Making it much. I had pie tin noise and the bowl noise going on, so this should make at least maybe let's see, this is uh, let's see, I think a pound and yeah, a pound and a half. So I should get at least five, maybe even six uh, patties out of this. Everybody seems to love these. I always try to make five or six because we, you know, I make them for Kareem and myself, and of course, Kylie is here. And, her, and Kyle's dad comes by sometimes. He he loves uh, meatballs as well. Not that I know he's coming this evening, but I always whatever I'm cooking, I always try to cook a little bit extra. He's never known somebody gonna drop by. Don't you feel funny when somebody come by and uh, if if they want something to eat, then if you don't have enough, I can't. That, that, that's why I've always uh, so that that little weird feel. I don't like that feeling. I always like to cook enough so if somebody does come back and offer them some food without thinking, uh oh, it's not enough. But don't you like I like to cook more than enough. So that and not you know, so I don't run out of food when I have company or when you're eating for my own children. I cook and it's gotten to be a very big habit with me. Ooh. 
I was eating up me a piece of uh, pepperoni there. I think I reached overheat to that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. I did my little test piece of meat. Like I always do. I need a little bit more of my um well, I can put this chicken. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got some beef. That's what I need. I need my cheese. That's why I needed more cheese. This is my beef, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, bouillon seasoning. Okay. Get that in the mix. And I'll make them sort of taste like hamburgers. What is that little? I don't taste, I don't put quite enough of that smoked paprika in there. Put a little bit more of that little smoky taste. Well, almost try to want, you be trying to wonder, did she put those on the grill or what? Nope, they ain't going on the grill today because it's raining today. Praise the Lord, it's raining. Again, today, I'm excited, y'all. But I do hope that you all have been continuing to pray without ceasing and doing well and that things are going okay in your families and you know what these uh prices are going up at the store and it's amazing some things the prices are actually i'm trying to think of something but i've, I've purchased stuff and it probably wasn't so bad you know uh, sometimes i even get going in there like uh last week before last i went in there beef was down you know beef that uh i like the sirloins not sirloin but i like the uh ribeyes and, you know, just nice cuts of steak. And I went in there one day and shook. They were seven ninety. Well, last week I think they were seven ninety nine. So I mean that ain't half bad for you know for steak. So I grab you know whenever they're cheap like that, I call that cheap compared to eleven ninety nine. That's cheap. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and get these boilers going. I think I'm gonna get five nice ones going. Okay. Five nice ones, I think, is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do this with green beans, and we got, like I said, we got leftover pork chops, y'all. I got leftover potatoes. Everything that I cooked yesterday, I got enough of that leftover for a couple of people. So. We just gonna have us like a little smaller boil here today. I I, I could have just gone without really cooking, but I thought, well, I had already thought out my uh okay, let's get over here in the pan. I had already thought out my uh turkey meat, so I thought, let me go ahead. I don't wanna put I don't wanna put it back. Three. So we there we are. So, I'm going to flatten these out just a little bit. Yes, ma'am. I'll share the pan. Hang on. Give me one second, okay, babe? Okay. That, that, uh, those packets are burning. I'm not too ready for water. Now, if you drink some water, it goes right along. Okay, so we're going to let these are going to take about 15 minutes to cook, y'all. So we're just going to let them cook, okay? And I'll be right back. I do believe these burgers are ready. Five nice ones, y'all. Go ahead and get them out. Okay, it takes about 15 minutes, about seven minutes per side. That's all it takes, y'all. They are ready. Again, I got leftovers galore today. So we're having these. Just to have something different prepared. I went ahead and cooked these burgers and made the green beans. And we're gonna add the pork chops and I got all those potatoes and squash that I had from yesterday. So, again, we're gonna have a little smorgasbord thing going on. Let's get this out of the way. I do hope you pray. 
as I always say that you all are continuing to pray without ceasing. That you all are being kind to someone. Not just kind, but you know, just doing something good for somebody. It makes me feel good when I do. Um, it's not it's not just because we feel like um, we do it so somebody can do something for us. We do it because God asks us to love one another. And, the, you know, the best way I know is to pray for, to be kind, extend um, food, a little piece of money every once in a while to someone that I know and love. So that's what we're doing here. Daily, I try to do it daily. You know, sometimes we have to come out of our comfort zone too every once in a while to do something. And when we do that, that that's when it when it best. That's when we best realize, you know, what it is about to do something kind for someone. When we can come out of that comfort zone and peel back and do it like that. So, our green beans with onions, uh, the homemade. Um, turkey burgers already and I'm going to add to it the uh, leftover potatoes that I prepared yesterday and some pork chops so that's what we're going to be eating for dinner but this is the feature item today if you want to get something going this right by itself if you want to uh, steam some rice to go with this or do some noodles some seasoned noodles to go with it, or just the burgers and the green beans maybe throw in a piece of bread if you can have the carbs whatever it is that you like to do this right here, y'all, 20 minutes. I promise it can be on your table. It can be on your table in 20 minutes. Um, again, the recipe for these burgers is very simple. And, you know, aside from the seasonings that I use, use your favorite seasoning. You might prefer some other seasoning. So whatever seasoning you prefer, uh, whatever it is that will go in there and make those burgers your own. So... I'm putting my oven on 250. I got my leftovers in the oven. I'm just going to warm them up and they'll be ready. And we're going to put them on the smorgasbord when it's time to eat. So, guys, thank y'all so much for stopping by. Thank you for your well wishes, your prayers, your comments, compliments, and your challenges. I love y'all so much. It does my heart so good to be able to share with you. Uh, anytime I share, uh, I count it all joy because I, I like that I have the ability to have something to share. So anyway, just a reminder, keep on praying. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray without ceasing, y'all. Do something kind for someone. A word, a deed, a card, a money, a cash app or something. And PayPal, I understand, is supposed to be one of those things you can use. You don't have to get into that. Oh, and we are also, we are premiering Tony's artwork. That's what I was going to show y'all. I have to show y'all a picture that he drew for me. So hold on one minute. Let me get in here to the other part of the house. I knew something was holding me. I, that was another reason why I wanted to come back. So, um, until I decide to cook again, y'all, thank y'all for stopping by. Hang on one second. I got a real treat for y'all. Something from Tony. So, hold on. Here we go into the dining room. Let's see. I've still got it sitting here. I'm so excited. And what y'all have to know about this, I got still got stuff sitting out. But look at this picture. Can y'all believe, I, I, and, and I'm going to show you the original picture to this. This is my great-grandfather, my, my mother's grandfather. Uh, <clears throat> a few years ago, my sister found this picture, dug it out. For, it was like from 18-something. But she gave me the picture, and I've held on to it. And it is, it's a worn picture. It's tattered, and I was going to have it restored. And then I thought, you know what would be a good idea? Just have Tony to draw it. And this is what Tony drew for me. Uh, if you know my family, if you know the eyes, the shape of the head and all that, you can see that. I can see um, I can see the shape of my head uh, in there. I can see Karan, Narik's father. We're going to do a comparison. I'm going to show you. I see Narik all over this. And one of my brothers and his son, I can see them. And I can see Kareem's eyes. So this is my great-grandfather, y'all. I am so excited about this picture. So... This is, uh, I think, probably 18 by 24, maybe. But it's a nice one. I got to find a real good place to put it. But this is the talent that God gave Tony. So I got to get this hanging somewhere. And 
I have left it sitting here on the table because every time I walk through the room for the all week long, I've been saying, hey, Papa, I would love to have known my great-grandfather. Oh, my, I, I didn't know any of my grandfathers. So any of my grandfathers, I would love to have known them because I see how much uh, my grandchildren loved and enjoyed my husband. So grandfathers, grandparents, as a whole, honey, we just special. But this is my papa. He had that beautiful hair, very, very fair-skinned, like my mom. And I'm just going to do the whole family. I'm just going to do the family lineup one of these days. And I've got a little, uh, one of my brothers, my baby brother. That's what the picture I should have put up. You can see his eyes. Oh, my goodness, his eyes. Those are my grandfather's eyes. So, anywho, y'all, until I decide to cook again, y'all say hey to Papa. Love you guys. Toodaloo.